from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. It's been a bit of a rough patch for Missouri baseball teams. Entering Tuesday, the Cards and Royals combined for just one win in their last nine outings. In that span, the Cards have dropped three games to two teams breathing down their neck in the Central, the Pirates and the Cubs. Michael Walk on the mound facing the Cubs. He hadn't allowed more than two runs in each of his last six outings. First inning, Anthony Rizzo belts it and delivers Waka two runs in a hurry. 2-0 Cubs. Second inning now, 2-1 for Castro, and he can just watch. Waka lasts just four innings, six runs allowed, ties for his most ever in his career. Seventh inning now, Gritchick pinch hitting, cards still trying to find the scoreboard. There it is. Gritchick serves one up past Big Mac Land for the two-run shot, his 16th of the season. Same inning, Gritchick up again. Representing the leading run this time, facing Pedro Strope. But Strope gets the better of him, gets him swinging to retire the side. Cubs hold on and win 8-5. to five. The Cubs look to complete the sweep of the Cardinals today, something they haven't done since September 20th. First pitch is at 1245. After dropping four of their last five, the Cardinals' divisional lead has slimmed to just four and a half games over the Pirates. The Cubs have won five straight to get into striking distance of the Cards. They sit just six and a half games back. The NL Central has three of the five MLB teams with 80 plus wins. The Cardinals still have one more road series with both teams. Royals have lost their last four games, scoring two runs or fewer in three of them. Facing the Twins, Hosmer bucks the trend, finds the gap, drives in three. Royals with the three nothing lead here in the first. Look at them catching up to each other, crossing home. Still no outs, Kendris Morales will step to the plate, and he finds room down the line to bring in Hosmer. That caps off a four-run first inning. We head to the eighth, 4-2. Wade Davis on the mound. Hosmer crosses the plate there. Here's Wade Davis on the mound facing Byron Buxton. He jams him, Orlando tracking it down, bobbles it, but makes the catch. How about that concentration, folks? Pablo Orlando filling in for Rios. In right makes the play, defense helping its pitcher the royal way. Holland on to close the ninth. Joe Maurer chops one to short, Escobar dives and throws it from his knees to get the out. Tip of the cap from the Royals dugout. Escobar reciprocates, what a play from the all-star shortstop. Unbelievable he's not a gold glove winner. Twins lose the challenge in the game by a score of four to two. The Tigers football team knows a thing or two about taking seemingly weaker opponents too lightly. Just last year, they let Indiana, a team that ultimately won just a single conference game, come to Columbia and steal a win. This weekend, they head to Jonesboro, Arkansas to take on Arkansas State, a team they saw here two years ago. The Red Wolves gave the Tigers quite a fight last time, jumping out to an early 6-0 lead in the first. They even held a two-point second half advantage before Missouri ended the game on a 27-3 run. Then a sophomore, Russell Hansborough, led the Tigers rushing with 96 yards of their 239 rushing yards. The 41-19 final might not reflect how close the game was, but one Tiger says don't expect the Tigers to be on cruise control this time. From the rumors I've heard down there, they're saying this is the uh, game that's going to make or break their season. So I know we have to understand that uh, <clears throat> no one's going to be taking this lightly. None of us are going to be taking this lightly. They're, gonna, they're sure is not going to take this lightly, so we're, we're excited to go down there and compete. Captains Russell Hansbro and Evan Bame are listed as questionable for Saturday with ankle injuries. Kickoff is at 6. On the rare occasion I ever played tennis with my brother, it seemed like I spent most of the time shagging balls. To the contrary, I can only imagine how heated things would get at the park when w the Williams sisters played. Serena, younger than Venus by a year and a half, faced her toughest competition in the open, yet lasting three sets, Serena bested her sister and is now two wins away from winning the first calendar year Grand Slam since Steffi Graf in 1988. Now, ladies, Megan, your cards, Angie, your Cubs. Now, come on, not my <laughs> Cubs, my household, though, yes. Okay, Cubs, so. You know, I'm not that That's committed. terrible. By default, you're a Cubs fan. Yeah. Either way, Cubs are coming on hot, cards are kind of reeling right now. How are you guys feeling about that? Connor, I mean, really. I, you're a poking you, bear. I mean, what are you doing? Yeah, you're on my bear. I've been told to be quiet about it because <laughs> I am not allowed to jinx it because this could be the one. So I said to him after the Cubs had won right. the first game and now the second last game, night, yeah. that I said, well, are you really 
you know, bugging a lot of people about this. He goes, no, we're not speaking of it. We aren't talking about it. Right. So that's where we're it's at. It's like Fight Club. Don't, just trying to don't talk about it if the Cubs are winning. Do not talk about it. Just trying to split the anchor desk. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just stood Good in front of the with television that. with a look of disgust on my face. My husband had gone downstairs and he walked back up. We were losing 6 nothing. He's like, oh, oh no. He's like, don't talk Cards about made it. a run, though. Get out of here. <laughs> made a run. Get out of here, Connor. That's not what she wants to hear, Connor. All right. Thank you. Not thank you.